Welcome to Good Night Tales. Once upon a time, in a lush green forest, a clever fox was wandering about in search of food. As he strolled past an old tall tree, he caught a delightful scent wafting through the air. His sharp eyes darted upwards, and there, perched on a branch high above, was a crow with a big, tasty piece of cheese clamped tightly in its beak. The fox's mouth watered at the sight. I haven't had a good meal in days, and that cheese looks like a feast fit for a king. But he knew the crow wouldn't give up the cheese so easily. So, the sly fox concocted a cunning plan to trick the crow. Oh, dearest crow. He called out, putting on his most charming voice. You look so grand, so elegant, so noble. Why, the very sight of you brightens up my day. The crow, a little suspicious at first, listened in silence, keeping a close grip on its prized cheese. But the fox continued with even greater enthusiasm. I've heard tales of your glorious voice. The fox continued, his eyes never leaving the cheese. They say it's the sweetest sound in the entire forest. Surely, a bird as magnificent as you could put even the nightingales to shame. Would you honor me with just one little song? Flattered by the fox's words, the crow swelled with pride. A magnificent voice, you say? Why, I never knew the animals admired me so much. Thought the crow. In that moment of pride, the crow forgot all about the cheese. He opened his beak to caw and plop. The cheese tumbled down from the branch and landed right in front of the fox. Quick as lightning, the fox snatched up the cheese, grinning triumphantly as he trotted away. Thank you for the song, dear crow. But I must say the cheese was even sweeter. The fox called back with a sly chuckle. Realizing he'd been tricked, the crow squawked in anger, but it was too late. The fox had disappeared into the forest, enjoying his well-earned snack. Several days later, the crow found another piece of cheese and, determined to enjoy it in peace, he flew to the highest branch of the tree he could find. However, the fox soon noticed the crow again, perched with yet another piece of cheese. Not one to pass up a treat, he decided to try his trick again. Hello, noble crow. How happy I am to see you again. Could you once more bless me with your beautiful song? But this time, the crow was ready. He glanced down at the fox, his eyes sharp with determination. I won't be fooled so easily again, the crow thought. Cleverly, the crow tucked the cheese under his claw, securing it tightly to the branch. Then, he puffed out his chest and began to sing, cawing loudly with all the gusto he could muster. The fox's eyes widened in anticipation, watching the crow's beak open and close. He waited and waited, but the cheese never fell. Frustrated and embarrassed, the fox realized he had been outwitted by the very bird he had tricked before. The fox sighed and hung his head. Well played, dear crow. This time you were too clever for me. With a final caw of triumph, the crow watched the fox sulk away. He had learned his lesson well. Never let pride make you lose sight of what's most important. And from that day forward, the fox never tried to trick the crow again. The moral of the story is, don't be fooled by flattery and learn from your mistakes. True wisdom comes from being cautious and staying focused on what matters most. <laughs>